A Living Fossil by Derek Krenland. The scientific name for the last two remaining species of coelacanth is the Latimeria columni and the Latimeria menadensis. Coelacanths are ordered in the kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, class Ceracopterygii, subclass Actinistia, genus Latimeria. They primarily reside around the Comoros Island between Madagascar and the east coast of Africa. They can also be found in Indonesia. Coelacanths, for the most part, live in the region of the ocean known as the Twilight Zone, which is roughly between 152 and 243 meters deep. They preside off the steep, rocky slopes of volcanic islands. At daytime, certain groups tend to clump together in caves and go out and hunt at night. Coelacanths in the African region tend to live in shallower waters. The name coelacanth is derived from the modern Latin word coelacanthus, meaning hollow spine. Its name refers to the three caudal fins on the rear of the fish. They can grow over two meters in length, which is larger than any fossil of their taxon found. They weigh around 90 kilograms and can live up to and beyond 60 years old. It has three fins along its body. The first dorsal fin lacks any lobes and only serves to make it appear larger. The second dorsal fin and anal fin have lobes to help steer it through the water. This video shows how the coelacanth uses all its fins in tandem to hover ominously under the waves. It has cosmoid scales along its body to protect itself and can secrete mucus in defense. They possess jaw hinges known as intracranial joints that allow it to open its mouth to a very wide angle. Its heart is oddly shaped with its chambers arranged in straight lines. And unlike most chordates, it retains an oil notochord throughout its life. The brain chamber is 98.5% fat and the rest is actual brain matter. It has a vestigial fat-filled lung and a fatty organ helping maintain buoyancy. Most people thought that coelacanths and all species in its taxon were extinct up until the 1930s. They thought it had died out around 66 million years ago before the Cretaceous period. Most scientists say the coelacanth is the best example of a Lazarus taxon, which is a species that was thought to have gone extinct, but has returned from seemingly nowhere. It was first found by Marjorie Courtenay Latimer when she saw an angler was selling it in a fish market. They are thought to be more closely related to tetrapods than that of fish. Coelacanths are known as passive drift feeders. They remain in their substrates and feed on animals that they come across. They feed mostly on cephalopods such as cuttlefish, squid, and octopuses. They are capable of moving very quickly to catch their prey and avoid predators. They reproduce by means of ovoviviparity, which means that eggs are internally fertilized. The embryos gestate in their mothers for roughly a year and feed off the yolk in the egg. They are born completely formed out of their mothers as pups. The information about coelacanth reproduction is very limited, as only two females bearing pups have been ever caught. It is difficult to label how endangered coelacanths are, as they are so uncommon. From what we do know, they are extremely endangered. Scientists estimate there are only 500 left in the world today. They are often caught by fishermen looking for oil fish. Luckily for coelacanths, they are not safe for humans to consume, so many fishermen release them back into the sea. Scientists have helped decrease the fishing of coelacanths by giving fishermen better boats to move their operations into areas that do not have coelacanths. However, many of these boats break down and fishermen go back to coelacanth waters. Scientists have also created supplements that substitute the uses of oil fish.